Halloween time on Craft again, which means it's time to whip up some creepy sweet treats. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this fluorescent kryptonite candy. Kryptonite candy starts out the same way as many other candies you might make at home. You'll need some sugar, a pot to boil it in, and a reliable candy thermometer. We're going to make some molds from these quartz crystals to get the shape of our candy with some aluminum foil and I'll use this pan with some rice in it to support those molds while I pour in the candy. We'll also need some electric green food coloring, uh, a flavored oil of some kind for the taste of your candy, and the secret is this vitamin B2. It fluoresces under UV light, giving the kryptonite that green glow. So we'll also be using this UV flashlight to see it happen. Before I make my molds, I'm gonna go ahead and dissolve some vitamin B2 in water. I have 150 milliliters, which is just over half a cup. I'm only gonna use three capsules. Don't try to use more, it won't make the effect any better. I'm gonna open up the capsules and stir them into the water so it can get completely dissolved before we start using it to make our candy. I'm gonna make molds for my candy out of these quartz crystals and this aluminum foil. You just put the crystal in the aluminum foil and wrap it around and press down tightly to get the nice shape. And then when you're all set, you just pull it apart a little bit, enough to get the crystal out. And then you have your mold. I can make another kind of mold from aluminum foil just by making channels that'll hold long columns of candy. And then I'll break them into crystals later. Just make sure you fold up the ends so the candy doesn't leak out. Now it's time to cook the candy. I've set up a pot on my stove over high heat with a candy thermometer. You wanna make sure that the probe of the thermometer doesn't touch the bottom of the pot. And I dissolved about a cup and a quarter of sugar in the B2 water we set up earlier. I'm gonna stir it constantly until it reaches 200 or starts to boil, and then I'm gonna leave it alone until it reaches 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Double, double, toil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble. Okay, my candy's almost ready. As it reaches closer to the target temperature, I'm gonna get ready to move fast. Right when it hits 300 degrees, I'm gonna turn the heat off and stir in a couple of drops of my electric green food coloring and a couple of drops of flavoring oil. You could use mint or green apple flavored. And then I'm gonna quickly bring it over to my molds and pour into my long aluminum foil mold here and my small crystal molds here. Once your candy has cooled thoroughly, you can remove it from the mold by tearing away the aluminum foil. Uh, I'm also going to break these larger pieces up into small pieces and put them in the jar. Okay, so it's time to see if the candy glows. Let's put it to the test. When your candy's all done, serve it at a party underneath a blacklight bulb or this UV flashlight. If you want to keep the candy glowing its brightest, make sure to store it in an opaque container until you're ready to show it off. It's a really great project to do with your kids, it's a really big hit at parties, and I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. So have a safe and happy Halloween, and I'll see you on the next craft video.